we have released a new version of Portfolio Architect. Now you may wonder, wow, what is Portfolio Architect? The answer is it is a tool which you download and install it on your Windows machine. Once installed, this tool will allow you to perform an in-depth portfolio analysis with the objective to optimize and balance your trading portfolio. Portfolio Architect has a bunch of awesome features. First of all, it is very easy to use and I will demo this to you today. Most of the things that can be done in Portfolio Architect can be done via drag and drop. It supports multiple trading portfolios and for each portfolio, you can view various performance metrics, starting from number of trades taken, profit factor, net profit, and so forth. It includes charting, for example, an equity chart or a drawdown chart, and you can view periodic and seasonal returns. But these are just some of the main features of Portfolio Architect. Some of the more advanced features are, for example, compounding. What if I was to reinvest my gains into my portfolio? How would this improve my results or perhaps make it worse? You can weigh your strategies, making sure that one does not overpower the other to arrive at a very balanced portfolio. You can simulate effects of disbursement, meaning what if I wanted to take out some money from my portfolio every once in a while? And you can use filtering. For example, what would happen if I only focus my trading on fall or maybe on the winter months and skip summer and spring altogether? These are just some examples of the advanced features. Who should use Portfolio Architect? Well, basically anyone who is interested in managing their investment or trading portfolio to get better results. Because what this tool will allow you to do very effectively is to find bottlenecks in your trading. It will also allow you to find areas in your trading, for example, seasonal effects, which will help you perhaps to focus your efforts on. You may even discover that Maybe for your trading strategy, trading during the summer is not beneficial and you should focus on the other seasons. All these things can be discovered with Portfolio Architect. There are primarily two ways to use this tool. The first one is if you are an automated trader, meaning that you have your own automated strategies, then you can simply use the back test results of your trading platform and import these into the tool. And the tool will then analyze the trade performance and show you where or how well these trading strategies have performed. But there's a second way. If you are a manual trader, and I believe most of you are probably manual trader, you can also use Portfolio Architect because it will allow you to import your own trade performance into the tool and to look for areas of improvement. If you are an automated trader, you can import backtest results from all these platforms, MetaTrader 4 and 5, TradeStation, NinjaTrader, MetaStock, Thinkorswim, and also ModerWave. If you are a manual trader, you can import your trade results, your own trade results as a CSV file into Portfolio Architect. So whether you are an automated trader or a manual trader, you will be able to take advantage of Portfolio Architect. Now, enough talking and enough theory, let's have a look at the tool itself. So when you first open Portfolio Architect, it may look like this. So it comes with a sample project, which I have loaded here too, just to demo you the main areas of the tool. On the left-hand side, you have a list of your trading portfolios, starting with your master portfolio, which will contain all your trading strategies. In this left quadrant here, you have a list of the symbols that you are currently trading, including the historical performance of these symbols being traded. So for example, in your portfolio, you may trade Google and you can see here that trading Google had 106 trade in the past uh, seven, eight years with a net profit of $34,000 and a profit factor of 1.33 and a drawdown of 15.51. And of course, you may not only trade Google, you may trade a whole bucket of stocks and all these are listed in this window here. And basically what Portfolio Architect allows you to do, it will basically combine the performance of all these individual symbols together and simulate a portfolio performance for trading all of these at the same time. And the portfolio effect of trading all these symbols can be seen down here. In this case, we can look at the equity graph, 
which basically simulates the portfolio performance from a starting equity. In this case, it's $100,000, but of course this can be customized. And we can see here how our starting equity has increased over the years up until the end date of our sample portfolio. We can also look at drawdown. For example, we can see here that our maximum drawdown in this case was roughly 10%, as you can see here, and we can see how our drawdown evolved, decreased and increased over time. We can look at yearly returns. So how much returns or gains did I get year by year for this trading portfolio? And we can also look at monthly returns. On the top right corner, we can look at trading statistics. For example, we can see what is the net profit of trading all these symbols together. In this case, it would have been $256,000. What is the profit factor? What is the drawdown in percent? We already knew this from the graph right here. We have the number, it's 10.09%. What is the drawdown in dollars? $38,000. How many trades were taken? 1,080. How many of these trades were winners? How many of these were losers? And so forth. If you go to the return tab here, we can see what was the average monthly return and average yearly return. And the distribution tab will show you what's the characteristics of the trades being taken. For example, the average trade size or the average trade gained $337. The average winning trade was $1,453, whereas the average losing trade was $764. You can see the ratios of winners versus losers. How many consecutive winners did I have? Consecutive losers and so forth. And now to my favorite part, which is the quadrant up here or down here. Here we can see seasonality effects. For example, in which month, year after year, did I have my best or my worst performance? And here we can see for some reason, for this particular portfolio, August trading did not work out for us at all. It was the only negative month. Whereas trading in January or December, like basically in winter, worked really well. We can also look at weekday performance. And here we can see that for some reason, for this portfolio, trading on Wednesdays or Thursdays turned out to be very profitable, whereas Tuesdays, only marginally profitable. And we can look at ratios between long and short trades as well. What's really cool is once you see these seasonality effects, you can apply filters to your overall portfolio. For example, what if I skip trading in July, August, and September altogether? We can simulate this using the tool. All we need to do is to go to properties up here. We go to filters and he, you, for example, you can say that, well, I want to trade in January, February, March, April, May, June, July, but I want to skip August, September, or October, and then resume in November and December. So I select all these, I click okay, once you do this, everything in the tool will update accordingly. So now we can see, for example, that if I go back to equity here, that our equity would have evolved like this. Our net profit would have been $233,000 with a profit factor of 1.68. But let's apply another filter. Let's look at the weekdays. So for example, let's skip Mondays and Tuesdays and only trades Wednesdays and Thursdays and skip Fridays again. Let's see how the performance would change if we apply this filter. So I, again, I go to properties and I use a weekday filter in this case. So I'm gonna only trade on Wednesdays and Thursdays, but I will not trade Mondays, Tuesdays, Fridays, and of course not on the weekend. By the way, we have included Sunday and Saturday here as well because of crypto trading, which is 24 seven. So I click okay and observe these numbers. They will all update immediately. So now my profit factor has actually increased to 2.16. I would have made a net profit of $155,000 with 359 trades in total. And here's my updated equity graph as well. We can also see that my drawdown using this filter would have decreased to 9.80 from 10.01. We can subdivide our master portfolio into sub portfolios. For example, maybe I'm only interested to see how Google Tesla and Netflix, all these three together would have performed. And I don't really care about the other ones. Well, very easy. All I need to do is to create a new sub portfolio here by clicking on the plus sign. It creates new portfolio for, I can rename it. I call it Google, Netflix, and Tesla. Maybe not the nicest name, but now we have the sub portfolio. And then all I need to do is to drag over these symbols into the sub portfolio. It's very fast. 
I could have also selected all three together, but let me drag them over one by one. Now I can select the sub portfolio, which not only contains these three strategies, and I see all my performance results only for these three symbols. This is a very easy way to zoom in to a particular symbol in your portfolio to see what other stats for this symbol, or perhaps a smaller subset of your symbols in your master portfolio. And of course, you can always switch back to your master portfolio to see what is the overall performance. And of course, the filters, which I applied previously, for example, we only trade on certain days. These can also be reapplied to this sub portfolio. And two more things, just to wrap it up, what we can also do is we can change, I'm switching back to our master portfolio, we can change the starting balance of my portfolio. Because as you know, the drawdown, for example, is directly related to my overall balance. Now, the bigger my starting balance, the smaller my drawdown will be. So perhaps, you know, this drawdown is fairly low. Maybe I do not need to start with $100,000 to trade all these strategies together. Perhaps a portfolio starting set of 50,000 would be sufficient. Let's try it out. So I'm gonna go up here and I will change my starting balance from 100,000 to 50,000. I click okay. Everything will update. And we can now see that our equity graph here starts from 50,000. So let's have a look at our drawdown, which has now increased to 15.93%, which I believe is still acceptable for most of your traders. So this is a really nice tool to figure out what, how much money should I have in my portfolio to trade all these strategies and still have an acceptable drawdown.